Avatar fanfic idea. The laws of spirit bending. Spirit bending is really fascinating. The way to either turn spirits from light to dark. You see, there's many rules on how it affects both humans, the avatar, animals, and spirits. And plus, water bending isn't the only way to do it. The other animal, the other elements can do it in different ways. Hey, you see, okay, purification, the gold, that has the ability to, who pacify, like a, like turn spirits back, uh, make them dissipate and probably return, or just be one with nature. Nature, but for really dark spirits that don't turn light, it will destroy them. And, but if you if I do it on a spirit that's already light, it will calm them down even more. Or over overdoing it could probably he cause them to die. Well, you know, too much power could be too much of a good thing can be bad. Ed, Ed, when it affects humans and their the same thing will happen to a human who's like good, a, who has a good spirit. Hear it, but in their but their physical body, if they're affected by a tendril of a purified spirit at water, then then it only pacifies them. You know, makes them relax, puts them to sleep temporarily. Hey, that's what it would do. Now, as for corrupt, uh, same thing goes for the avatar. Avatar in a, in their avatar titan form. No matter how much it happens, it just temporarily makes them stronger, like with other it does with other spirit light spirits. Same with Rava alone. As for corrupting, that's bad. And for dark spirits, corrupting them will like temporarily make them stronger. Overdoing it could des can destroy them. You know, too much of a good thing is bad. Uh, but not with Vatu. It only temporarily makes him stronger. Same with the Dark Avatar and an Avatar Titan form. Titan form. Harm corrupting a human soul. Whole it corrupting a human spirit has the ha, can kill them. It is rumored it can destroy their soul. Oh, but if it's affected by a human who has a evil, who is very evil in spirit, as a, who has an evil spirit, then. Then it just temporarily makes them stronger, but too, doing it too much can destroy them too. Same thing. thing. So, but at uh, the but in their physical forms, it like a causes like a great imbalance in their life. Can cause them to become very sick. Sick. You know what happens when you constantly battle dark spirits? Like example with Avatar Korok. Or if if you don't build up a good enough immunity to dark spirits, here it's so. Pia, pia, for, there are three to wait types of spirits in sociality: the light spirits, which are spirits that never go dark; dark spirits, which are spirits that never go light; and neutral spirits, which are spirits that can change from good from light to dark depending on their emotional state. Same thing can go with humans and animal spirits. So they're affected the same way, animals too. Effects on spirit vines. Hines, if you corrupt them, then they'll go out of control. Prolonged exposure will cause them to die, the, the spirit wild and vines to die. As for purifying, it relaxes them for a bit. Overdoing it causes them to make them stronger than ever. 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 If you, like, corrupt the the true avatar, then the cycle will be destroyed. Same thing goes when you purify the light avatar. Or, or, but it, that can only happen in either their spirit form or their avatar titan form. 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 But if it's done, if but if that process is done when one... If either Rava or Vatu is pure, is already still regrowing in either one, then once they're either corrupted or purified, either Rava or Vatu will emerge from from the from the yellow or purple dust of energy. Energy speeds up the process, of course. Horse, horse, and uh, you can, and the the spirit water. And the water, the it increases is by the, what kind of water you have, normal, 
normal water, spirit water, polluted water, like either slows or fastens the the process. process. And the bigger the spirit, the longer it takes to purify. So the more water you will need to do that. At, at when vines like affect the souls, spirit purification won't work and corruption will probably do Ooh, more harm will do harm 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 like destroying the the, the human spirits here it's and for how fire bending spirit bends is like you to circle around on the spirits with rings of dragon fire you know all kinds of colorful fire it's similar to energy sensing and doing it for prolonged exposure will relax the spirits here it's but but burning them with the dragon fire will turn them dark. Turn them dark. Same thing goes with with earth bending. If you, it's similar to acupuncture. If you stab them, them in pressure points in the spirits, they'll pacify. But do it to annoy them, and they turn dark. It can be used with either metal or earth. As for air bending. And you compress the spirit or trap them. Compressing will relax it. It trapping will darken it. Darken it. Same thing can go with earth bending. You can compress the spirit as well. Hell. Prolonged uh but but for but for air and earth that only works for normal spirits, not human spirits, but it can work on animal spirits. Here it's the it's but sometimes on on spirit vines as well and wilds. Fire bending and water bending are both equals and opposites, just like earth and air are. 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 And when it affect the effects of of spirit bending you know, are very mysterious and still being studied of how it properly works on each kind of spirit. Hear it. But there more knowledge is gaining every day because people are now of learning the ability, mostly in the southern and northern tribes. Right, because those are where the most spirits are. Are. So, so yeah, spirit bending's not just for water bending, but also for fire bending, earth bending, and air bending. For energy bending, it's sort of different. Different. It's like having either direct, con having direct contact with a spirit. Turning it light from dark. But if you balance out it, having both both light and dark energies, you can balance out the energy in a spirit, reverting them to a normal state. You know, neither light state or dark state, but they're who they truly are. Are. Same goes with animals, spirit vines, and 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 even human spirits. And sometimes spirit bending can even control spirit wilds, but not as well as other spirits, other powerful spirits can do it. Right. That's my video on on the laws of spirit bending. What are your thoughts about this? These new ways of spirit bending. Now let me know in the comments down below. The theorizer out.